Exactly, and they were the ones that produced the um, demonstration, the event. Yeah. the event, but also the handmaidens uh, protest, where these women dressed in costumes with bonnets, and they went to the hearings also, and they did all these protests. So, what we have is a very well orchestrated right. enterprise. In indeed, but Austria, you know, the average person watching at home, they they look in and they see yeah. the nightly news and they think. Wow, look at all these people who are involved and look how professional it is. And in some cases, we know why. Right. But it, it does shape public opinion and it has been yes. effective. You know, we're communications professionals and we have to acknowledge that this is propaganda. I mean, this is messaging. They're uh, very skilled at it. I admire it, actually. I thought the handmaiden protest uh, symbol was a very clever one. But, you know, I'll. With all enterprises, we have to go beyond the headlines. We have to go beyond these images and see who's the money behind it. Some mm -hmm. of these leaders, like the woman who was in the elevator yelling at Senator Flake, right. she gets a six-figure salary, $150,000 plus, which I know a lot of your viewers would love to be getting for you know harassing folks all mm -hmm. day long. And so okay. everybody has a right to do this, but Indeed. it's important for us to know what is happening and who is behind right. the money. And now we know there is some money behind some of the protesters. All right, uh, Asra Nomani, thank you very much for joining us live today. Thank Interesting you stuff, so much. good reporting. Thank you. All right, uh, 10 minutes before the top of the hour, Columbus Day canceled in Columbus. Ohio will celebrate Veterans Day instead. Was that just an excuse to go PC? We're going to talk to one vet who lives in Columbus next and puts on the war on police and calls out the media understand one thing how much our country loves you and the job you do you don't hear it from them